Well, I um, did have a video planned for today, and there's this old saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, and I am making a video today, but it's not the kind of video I would like to make, and doing videos like this are always very, very, very hard. Um, for those of you who know and who don't know, um, uh, 10 o'clock on US time, I believe, uh, macho man Randy Savage died. He'd had a heart attack whilst driving and then had a car crash. And I found out over here about 6.30, I just had some people over at the time, so found out around that time. I didn't want to give, do a, a gut reaction to it because it was very, very raw and I found out. Um, I mean... You know, the topic of death and professional wrestling is something that's very common. Uh, I've always said that at times I dread going on the internet and typing in wrestling or going on anything wrestling related because it seems more often in the last few years that I'm going to hear pro wrestler dead or pro wrestler found dead. And, you know, I, it's, it's, it's very hard to talk about. Um, but, you know... I don't want this to be one of these really sad videos, so I just want to talk about my memories of this person. Macho Man Randy Savage was one of my favourite wrestlers when I was a child, and I know a lot of people in my age group, and a lot of people in that kind of age era of the late 80s, early 90s, uh, were very familiar with Randy Savage, and I'll never forget when I was young. Uh, jumping off of my bed, doing flying elbows and double axe handles, thinking I was Randy Savage. And um, he was just one of my favourite characters. I mean, to me, if you want to use the term sports entertainment, then that guy was sports entertainment. And he was a professional wrestler at the same time. He just had everything. Uh, I mean, as soon as you just saw him on the television, you just believed he was crazy. He just believed he was this wild man. He was he lived up to his namesake actually. And you really believed that he had the madness in him. The way he would just carry on and his mannerisms. I, I don't think you'll ever have another character like Randy Savage, to be honest with you. And I don't think anyone could come close to that kind of just it, it's something very different and it set him apart. The voice, the movements, the mannerisms, the the paranoia of the character. It was just a tremendous character what to, to watch. And whether he was a baby face, you, he could get you to love him and he could get you to really boo him as well. I mean, one of my favourite Savage memories actually was uh, me and Gene Oakland did this tour, uh, interview in his house. And it's on YouTube. And it's just one of the funniest things ever is he's just doing this workout. And he's like, no problems, yeah! No problems, Liz. Uh -huh. And he's just... It's just one of the funniest things ever. And the way he's making sure that he sits in between Liz and Gene Oakland. You know, just being real paranoid and stuff. It's just... It's just one of the funniest things ever. And, um... I mean... One of the best... Most well-rounded... Professional wrestlers... Of the 80s and 90s, in my opinion... He could talk, he could wrestle, he could be a heel, he could be a baby face. He could get you to feel a range of emotions and, you know, I'll just never forget him when I was a child growing up. And I'll tell you what, I actually do go on YouTube sometimes and uh, watch old clips. And I mean, I watch some old, old stuff uh, of him in ICW, uh, freaking out because of the one man gang, which is another one, where he's like, situation developed, man! And, um... There's a promo with him and Bobby, Bob Orton, which is quite funny for some reason. And then there's a, a really famous match from that time period, I think, with him and his brother wrestling the Rock and Roll Express. And I believe it was one of the first times someone had used the table as a spot in wrestling and put someone through a table. And that, you know, always sticks in my mind. Uh, just other images of Randy Stavage that stick in my mind. Of course, everyone's going to say the stuff of Ricky Steamboat. Uh, the stuff with Diamond Dallas Page was stuck in, stuck out in my mind, and um, obviously the famous Mega Powers explode with Hogan and Savage, and 
some of the stuff him and Ted DiBiase did and Flair did, I mean, and even the Ultimate Warrior and stuff he did with him, he's just such a great character, and, you know, he kind of went quiet after, you know, a while, I mean, Simon Spider-Man, as everyone did, Bone Saw McGrain, marking out like an idiot in a cinema, but, I mean, that's great, and, you know, a lot of fans really want to see Randy Savage in the Hall of Fame, and... You know, there's all this stupid nonsense of, you know, urban legends as to why, and to be honest, I don't really care for that. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. He's one of the greats of the wrestling industry, one of the guys that paved the way for a lot of things, and he deserves to be in there. And, you know, one of the... I don't know, it's it's just hard right now. I'm just going for a range. Uh, just a range of emotions right now. It just... Right now, at the moment, I just feel really shocked and stunned. You know, it's just—it's a hard thing to think about, and you know, under the circumstances. So, I don't know, uh, guys. Let me know what you want to say about this, um, and you know, I, I I hope everyone's doing all right, and yeah. God bless you, Nigel, man, Randy Savage.